Hello and welcome to Demo Reel. We've got a PlayStation 1 disc, which means we get an awesome opening cinematic, which is what we've got going on here with these uh, robots fighting. I love, I love when they do stuff like this on the uh, on the old PlayStation uh, demo discs. I, I I really don't know why they stopped. Like some of the PS2 discs had some kind of opening, but usually if they did, it was just that one uh, that one host character we've seen once or twice, and it was just her kind of talking a little bit. And eventually they stopped doing that and just started showing one of the trailers off the disc, which is so boring. When you look at this, like, they didn't have to do any of this, and but I really appreciate that they did. It's just, um, it makes it a better experience. And maybe that's, maybe I'm a little biased because I am doing a show like this, so I just want that experience from the disc. But uh, in any case, that was that was certainly fun. Here we got the um, a little thing telling us that these, are, these demos are not finished. So, uh, let's see. We've got, um kind of a cool uh, menu here also with this uh, I guess it's like a flight deck from one of the robots or something like that but as you can see we've got Disney Pixar's Monsters Inc as one of our demos we also have uh, something called Sheep Raider which I believe I, I'm familiar with I think this is a uh, a Wily Coyote game uh, though we'll see when we get in there uh, and then Scooby-Doo in the Cyber Chase which is obviously a Scooby-Doo game uh, Twisted Metal Small Brawl, which I guess is like a cutesy Twisted Metal. Um, and then uh, also E.T. Interplanetary Mission, and as you all are, I'm certain, are familiar, E.T. has a long history of outstanding video games. Uh, and then we have, there's a video preview for the PS2, because this is shortly before the PlayStation 2's launch, a video preview of Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy, which we've played on this channel, a video preview for Batman Vengeance, which I really wish I had a demo disc with that on it, but I don't. Um, a video preview for uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, and uh, then we're back here with Disney Pixar's Monsters, Inc. So let's get started. We uh, we see our controls here. Looks like um, we've got a, a scare button and a jump and double jump. And actually, now that I'm looking at this, I think I actually remember playing uh, this game, or at least this demo. And uh, I don't remember being terribly impressed at the time, though I, I guess uh, it's possible that nostalgia will overrule that. This is 2001, as we can see, uh, the first Monsters, Inc., not the uh, university that came out just a few years ago. Um, something uh, going on here. It looks like uh, the, the video may be fucking up a little bit. My, um, my discs aren't all in great condition, and this one may be a little bit... Uh, a little bit dirty, but hopefully it won't affect the gameplay any so far. We're we're going smoothly at least. Um, we've got a uh, some uh, A A two M, uh, not a studio I'm terribly familiar with, though the logo does look kind of familiar. And then uh, a vault. Okay, press start. And in here we we can see there's a new game, low game, and options. Uh, don't don't really need to mess with the options here. We'll just go with whatever the default is. As we head in and see what they've got, and right away it does not look. Terribly impressive. Um, wow, okay. So, uh, it looked like that building just appeared out of nowhere. But here we see our main characters. Um, Mike looking a lot greener than uh, I remember him in the show. It's it's weird with, with Mike Wazowski in a lot of media outside of the films. They always make him look really green. But to me, in the movies themselves, he always looked more yellow. Or like a, a, a greenish yellow, but a yellow nonetheless. Um, but, uh, anyway, we're, we're totally missing on the story here, but that's okay. I don't think, um, if memory serves anyway, there's nothing terribly important here, though. I guess I could let you guys hear the voice acting the a most bit. respected companies in all of Monstropolis. No problem. It's not like we're on the verge of a screen shortage or anything. We'll be fine. Yeah, so I'm not sure... If that's actually Billy Crystal or an impersonator. Oh, he, he, well, oh. I don't remember seeing. A... Oh no, we're not on the list. We are not on the list, Sully. How can this be? We filled out all the paperwork. Granted, it was extremely confusing, but come on. Oh boy, what am I going to tell my mother? She'll be absolutely devastated. Oh, here we go. Sullivan, James P. And Mike Wazowski. You too have been enlisted in this training course because of your potential to become a top scare producing team. While you are here, the two of you will work together to complete a total of 15 trials. That's right, 15 trials. If you can complete them all successfully, you will earn yourself a spot on the scare floor. Okay? Good. Please proceed through the elevator directly behind the help desk. Any questions, come see me. Welcome to Monster Academy. 
Okay, so, um, looks like we get to choose if we want to be Sully or Mike. And they look so much better here, don't they? Because this is just promotional art from the film. Um, boy, I don't actually know. Uh, I guess we'll go with Mike. Um, I, like, I like both of them. They're both great characters for different, different reasons. But, uh, anyway, we're, um, we're in, uh, another prequel. It seems like they love to do prequels for, uh, Monsters, Inc. But, uh, anyway, we saw that there's a series of tests here. Welcome to the Monster Academy orientation. Here you will learn... All you need to know to become a top scare at Monsters Incorporated. We will begin with the basics, jumping in front of you are three obstacles, jump over them using the X button and proceed through the door at the end of the hall. Good luck, you'll need it. Press X button to continue. Um, so yeah, this game is immediately dated, <laughs> just because it's also about them learning how to become scarers, <laughs> which they've now made a movie about that, which is nothing like this. It's more like a uh, like a college, and there's uh, fraternities, and... and uh, um, all the sorts of things you kind of associate with that. Now for the double jump and ledge grab. I already did a double jump by accident just a minute ago. If I use a platform that is too high to reach using the normal jump. To get on top of it, press the X button. Uh, to jump then, while in midair, press the X button again to perform a double jump. Think you can handle that? Press the X button to continue. I love how it's like daring me to double jump. <laughs> um, so obviously this game is targeted at pretty young children. Um, too big even for the double jump. Perform the double jump, grab the ledge, and pull yourself up. Yeah, okay. So they're happy to teach us pretty basic um, video game controls or platformer controls that most people would probably already know. Um, even kids, I would think. Like, I don't think a young me would have to be taught any of this unless this was just my very first game, which I guess is possible. Um, uh, not that you encourage attacking. Press square uh, to engage the toys as well as destroy objects such as crates. Try pressing the square button while moving or standing still. Press all the crates and enter the next room. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Now I'm just breaking boxes. Like, this is, um... This is bare bones, uh, 3D platformer controls. Like, uh... Like, I can't think of anything more simple than jumping and breaking crates as far as video games go. But they're, they're teaching us how to do it. Which, again, I guess if you need to know, but... Um, I gotta figure the amount of people who would need to be taught this sort of stuff uh, would be very, like, large, even in a children's game. Not much of the audience is going to need to know that. You're doing so well! To help you through training, we have provided some items for you to collect. This is a bag o calories. If you have taken damage from an enemy, the bag o calories will fill your health meter by one point. Just walk into it to pick it up. Press X button to continue. <laughs> he even tells me how to navigate the menu every single time. Uh, press X button to continue, even though to get to that point, I would have had to have already pressed X button to continue before. It's so redundant. Um, this is an extra try token. Picking it up will give you another try. So it's a, it's a life. Uh, walk into it to pick it up, then proceed through the door at the end of the corridor. Uh, press X, X button to continue. Okay. Well, I guess I can navigate the menu with the D-pad, but, um, anyway. Uh, or not the menu, but the, the little dialogue boxes. Uh, more crates. Uh, each monster has unique pounce. To perform it, press X button to jump, then when a mid-air, press square button. This move is used for eliminating pesky toys, but it's also good. See, this is a little bit more, um, something I would expect to see in a tutorial. Uh, rather than, like, how to jump, or how to double jump. Um, uh, the thing is, do I even need to do my... I, I guess, yeah, I guess these boxes can only be broken with my, my pounce. Um, what it... Okay, cool, I can do this indefinitely. Awesome. Uh, I love that. <laughs> so, that's cool. I love... Man, why don't I just play the whole freaking game like this? Why would I ever stop bouncing? Uh, I guess so I can go through doors, but... This is a primordial ooze! But, what, really? Uh, it's a very important part of your training. Collecting it will increase the power of your fright meter. Make your skills more powerful. Do these people know what primordial ooze is? Um, as you collect more primordial ooze, the level of your fright meter will increase. Collect all 10 cans of primordial ooze. Proceed to the next room. That makes no sense. Why primordial ooze? Just because it sounds vaguely ominous? But, like, you could just call it ooze. Or goo, or any number of things. I mean, it's basically just, like, Nickelodeon slime, I'm, by the look of the things. But, you, no, you have to call it primordial ooze, which just confuses the hell out of me. But, okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> moving along here. Uh, continuing to bounce, because why the hell would I not bounce? Um... In front of you is a Nerve, our substitute robot for children here on Scare Island. That's supposed to be a child, but he's, like, smaller than me. Um, and I'm Mike Wazowski. Uh, 
Anyway, the most important part of my training, in order to graduate from Monster Academy, you can, must be asked to find a scared nerves throughout this island. To do so, get close to nerves and press circle. Uh, blah blah blah. When I hear the siren, see the lights flashing, uh, then it's then quickly press X to perform a finishing scare. Give it a try and proceed to the next room. Okay, so yeah, this is the thing I remember from uh, from this game. Uh, the yeah, the the scare animations. This is all I remember from this game is scaring the robots. Uh, none of this other stuff has stuck with me throughout time, but for some reason, I really remember the scare animations. Uh, for both, but for both uh, Mike and Sully. Um, so, uh, and if we get the chance to play another level, uh, hopefully I'll get the chance to to switch over and play Sully. If not, I might try doing this again as Sully. You're doing well. Collecting Pomoda losers is an important part of this game because it raises the level of your Fright Meter. As you can see, Fright Meter is divided into five sections. Um, yeah, see, this is all more relevant to a tutorial than, than the, how we started, but you gotta work your way up, I guess. Um, Anyway, in order to scare a nerve, you must have the matching color in your fright meter full. Am I clear? This means in order to scare the green nerve, you need to fill the green section of the fright meter. Keep in mind that these red cans of Pomoyer Lose are each worth 5 points. In order to proceed, collect the red cans of Pomoyer Lose to fill the green section of your fright meter to scare the green nerve. Got it? I love how it has to ask me if I understand. Um, so, that's really funny. Um, anyway, gonna do my uh, scare thing here. So basically, I just press um, whatever button it says. Uh, I stopped pressing crime because I was just wanting to see what would happen. But uh, and then when it gets to the top, I press X, and then I scare them. And the um, I don't know how any of the things Mike was doing just now would have scared anybody. Like even a robot designed to be scared. I don't. Um, okay, what's a? Uh, okay, it's another door. Man, they need to stop showing me the doors opening so I can keep bouncing. But um, anyway. Uh, Okay, so look, look at this. This is a pretty nice setup. Now pay attention, okay? Each course on Scare Island can be completed with bronze, silver, and gold medals. To obtain the bronze medal, you must scare a total of five nerves. You've already scared two. Now collect the Pomoyer losers and scare the remaining three nerves. After you obtain a bronze medal for the orientation, proceed to the next room. I doubt you'll make it, but good luck. Um, man, whoever is narrating this is, has no faith in me at all. I think it's supposed to be the, um, the slug woman. I can't, uh, I can't remember her name from the movie, but, um, anyway... I, uh, should be able to scare this one now. Um, I just need to get through this. This is pretty tedious, actually, the scare thing. Like, the animations are kind of funny, but the, the actual gameplay is really boring. Uh, just press buttons, mash whatever button it's telling you until you, uh... It's either, like, a quick time event, like, it's a step below a quick time event. Um, let's see, okay, I'm, I'm ready to scare an orange, uh, kid here. So I will, uh, do that. Uh, I, I do like these animations. They're they're not terribly inventive or nor scary, but they're kind of funny just for what they are. Um, okay, Wait, what is he doing here? Oh, he poked himself in the eye and screamed. Like, how is that supposed to be scary? I don't understand. Um, uh, let's see, was that all the kids here? No, there's still one up here. Um, another orange one, but uh, I should be able to scare him pretty easily, as I have all of them so far. Um, because this is, this is so, so easy. I really hope there's more to the game than this. Like, if the hardest part is just getting to kids, then that's, um, or getting to robots, that's pretty bad. Congratulations, you've successfully scared five nerves. Okay, so, um, now I can, uh, go on to, uh, here. Oh, the whole screen went flickery there for a second. I wonder what that was. Um, it looked like I was just seeing a different part of the level for a second, but, uh, where? Which door? What? I guess it's this way. I I don't know. For some reason, I thought this was the way I came in, but I, I guess I got turned around. Uh, the level all looks pretty samey, so it's a little easy to get lost. Get the silver medal in each course. You must collect ten monster uh, tokens. Collect all ten tokens in this room to obtain the silver medal. And then continue on to the next room. Press X button to continue. Okay. So um, this should not be uh, difficult for us. Uh, as an adult playing this children's game, I'm pretty sure I can handle. Uh, collecting 10 tokens. Um, I think even with my limited skill range, this is a, a, an obtainable task. Might as well bounce to them here. Uh, <laughs> oh man, it's so hard to... Okay, that's why I don't want to bounce everywhere. It's really hard to get tokens while you're bouncing. But, uh, okay, that's all of them. Yay, I got a silver medal! Now what do I have to do to get the gold? Uh, I scared five uh, robots and got 10 uh, tokens. Um, and I guess... We'll find out here what we need to do next. To obtain a gold medal, 
I will need to scare the remaining three nerves in the area for a total of eight nerves per course. This can get a little tricky. These three nerves are red and require you to have a completely full fright meter to collect the primordial blue sky throughout. Um, so yeah, it says it's tricky, but I don't believe it. Um, like, getting... All I have to do is collect the primordial ooze, and there's so much lying around. And so, from this tutorial, you can kind of get an idea for how the actual game is going to play. Just, um... Uh, just this. Like, oh wait, I don't want to go up there yet. I thought that was another can of ooze, but it was a child. Uh, or a nerve. I'm sorry, it's not, it's not actually a child, it's a, a robot. Um... Anyway, I, uh, I, I think it's pretty- whoa, was that a, another- okay, that was a nerve. I, um, I'm not ready to, to do any nerves yet, um, is it a nerve? Like, uh, it's a kid upside down. I don't know, let me try scaring it. I don't, I don't know what this is. Okay, it is. It's, it was just upside down for some reason. So, yeah. This will be the most difficult type of child to, to scare, um, even though it's really not- all that much more difficult than what we've encountered so far. Um, okay, there we go. Full combo! And there goes the first one. Um, the other ones are likely going to be just as easy since they're exactly the same. Um, here we go. Oh boy, this this meter filling is so, so tedious. Um, like, we're only in the tutorial and I'm already tired of it. That's a really bad sign for the game as a whole. Um, oh, I poked my eye again. How scary. <laughs> I, I don't get how that's supposed to be, like, scary. Whoa, I can... Oh, that's cool. I can kind of hover there, too. That's neat. Um, I, I still wasn't able to make the jump I was trying to make, but... Uh, this should be the last time we have to do this, I think. Um, so, uh, let me just get rid of this kid. Um, and then we should be done with this. I don't think... Uh, I really don't... Yeah, if... Hold on. Uh, congratulations. We're all really impressed. You've completed the monster orientation while last thing scattered throughout the Scare Island. You'll find mailboxes. These contain important pieces of information and tips for you. For some reason, this is just reminding me of Ape Escape. Uh, to get the information out of them, just stand in front of one and press square button. Good luck. Okay. Um, yeah, it... Well, it is just like Ape Escape there. But, uh, anyway. Um, yeah, I can do that little jump. Okay. So like I was saying, if um, we don't get the chance to play a different level of Sully, then I don't think um, I don't think I'm gonna be playing the tutorial again. I just really don't want to. What is this over here? Um, X button to go up. Okay, uh, that's the X. It's an elevator. I see. So um, let's see. It looks like we get a picture of the uh, the villain from the the film there. But we uh, okay. So. We are playing another level, but we didn't get to choose Sully. Um, and this is another, uh, like, open world type area we get with these sorts of 3D platformers. Kind of like the um, Muppet Monster Adventure we played in the past. Or um, certain sections of Spyro, even though um, we haven't seen that in the demos. But it looks like from here we can go to different worlds. Um... Yeah, so none of these are available in the demo, but we do get to see that in this room are four different levels, um, all with an Arctic theme. Um, I'll look around here and see if we, uh, if there's any of these that we can play, because I would like to play an actual level, uh, hopefully a Sully. Okay, uh, Desert Oasis. Um, and, okay, now I can choose Sully. All right, so good. We, we do get to see both characters here, and we don't have to play anything over again, which is what I was afraid of. I was going to say, if, if the tutorial was all that was in the demo, then I wasn't going to play it again because it was so boring. But um, at least here we get the chance to kind of um, see what an actual level is like. Um, shouldn't be uh, too surprising here. Um, I'm not sure what this thing is supposed to be. Can I scare it? No. It's just going to peck at me. Okay. Well, um, there was a healing item right there, so... Ooh, okay, this looks interesting. Let me get some more Primordial Ooze, and then see um, what we can do here. Um, yeah, and just launches us over here. There's some kind of scorpion with a hammer for a tail. Uh, I'm guessing we don't want to deal with that if we can avoid it. Um, let's see. What uh, what does this say? Be sure to use a first-person view to look around and see items you have to collect. Okay. Um, probably won't be necessary. Uh, this doesn't seem like a very difficult... Um, like, it, I don't think there's a whole lot of things that are going to be hard to see here. Um, let's see what what's in this cave, though. Um, there's, like, a UFO, and... Boy, I don't even... 
Um, okay, I guess I need to get the um, get the kid out of the cage, but it's um, well, it's a red one anyway, so I don't think I want to do that right now. Uh, I don't have nearly enough more to lose, uh, even with uh, what's lying around in here. I I don't have enough to scare a, a red uh, nerve, but um. That's something we can come back and do, though. That's one of the, uh, probably one of the three that we'd have to worry about if we were trying to, um, get the gold medal for the level. And to be honest, I don't even know if that's really a priority. Like, oh, this that freaking robot again. Um, I need to remember that I can attack things. It, it seems a little backwards that I would, like, because it's not, like, there's not a lot of fighting going on in, in Monsters, Inc., really. It's all scaring. But, uh, I can fight these, like, toys and stuff, or whatever they're supposed to be. Um, let's see, is it... I'm trying to see if I can push this, but I guess that's not what that's for. Uh, I'll figure that out later, I'm not... I'm not too worried about it, uh, I'm not very, um, motivated to actually, like, uh, do anything here. Um, <laughs> I just really kind of wanted to... I just want to scare something as Sully, really, is, like, the most I want to get out of this. Um, whoa, there was a, um... Oh, there's a, a green child here. Okay, can I scare it? Um, I okay, there we go. I uh, I think I hit it <laughs> when I landed on the uh, the castle, which I'm glad I landed on that sand castle because it gave me a healing. Room. Oh, look at look at that. That's <laughs> the bag is less scary than his actual face. Why would? Uh, that's kind of funny. I don't know why he does that, but it's funny. Um, anyway, so that's uh, some of. Some of Sully's animations. He's got more, obviously. Um, whoa! Over jumped. I did not need to double jump that. And I'm not entirely sure why I did, to be honest. Um, just, well, uh, maybe I did need to double jump. This is weird. Uh, hold on. I'm really bad at, like, this type of platforming here, especially with a game that controls as awkwardly as this one does. Like, whoa! Uh, okay, okay. I keep thinking I, I can't tell if I'm on it yet. Oh, bleh. Um, wow. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Okay, um... Oh, boy. Uh, at least I can touch the water here. That's, um, good, I guess. I'm trying to get some of this ooze. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Um, definitely want to get this token at least. Uh, pretty close to a red bar here. Um, if there's... Uh, okay, there's another one here, but... Uh, okay, let me scare this child. This should, um get us some points or, or whatever. Uh, we have to scare five nerves to get a bronze and then uh, eight to get a gold, right? So, um, what? He's just dancing. That's not, that's not scary at all. Uh, I don't understand some of these animations. Um, we did find a healing thing, which is nice. Uh, trying to, well, I, uh, hold on. Let me um, see what's in this mailbox first. I just, I don't know what it has to say. Uh, use first person view to look around. Oh, well, jeez, that's not even new. Um, we've been told that before. Um, let's see. Get this token. Jump on back. It looks like uh, if we jump down this way, there'll be a few things we can get. Because I saw some ooze. Oh, man, I missed. What? Oh, well, let's um, go on in here. Uh, looks like uh, another part of that cave we saw before. Or at least something similar to it. Uh, this button here... Uh, okay, this is the button that opens up that cage. Um, hopefully indefinitely, but I don't know. Um, the thing is, we don't actually have enough... Um, okay, it's not indefinitely. Um, we don't have enough uh, to to scare it. So, um, we uh, there's no there's no point in trying right now. But uh, I'm trying to look around and see if there's... We, we kind of want to get up there, but I think I blew that already. Um, I don't want to go back up like oh my gosh that's such a pain uh, to, to have to go all the way back up there um and i'm not like i said i'm not really invested in doing well in this demo can i climb this um how does this work uh i'm trying different buttons here uh i guess i can't but it does look like there is some kind of like uh floating platforms and stuff um how do i how do i switch into first person um Okay, uh, press them both L2 and R2 at the same time. So yeah, there's like these flying carpets and weird shit going on up here. There's even a, one of the, um... Okay, so this is where the, <laughs> this is where the real challenge of this game comes in, is just trying to get 
to everything. Um, still don't know what the deal is with these lily pads either. They're like, I guess they're supposed to be floating on water, but the way the water is animated, it makes it just look like, or I should say, the way the water is not animated, it makes it just look like they're just hovering. Um, let me hear. There's a button here. What does this do? Um, now they're lighting up. Um, I don't understand. Uh, what, uh, I, I have no idea. Oh, wait. When I jump on it, does it, it look? Uh, I don't know. I don't... I kind of don't care. Um, I'm finding it really difficult to be, like, invested in, uh, this. So, like, the orange lights up, and then the blue, and then the green. Um, but I can't do anything to make them light up, right? Okay, orange, then blue, then green. Okay, and then that makes a child come out. Oh, okay. Um, let me scare it before it... Oh, wait, it's running off. That's not fair. Get over here. Okay. Um, so let me go ahead and scare this one. Uh, it's a blue, so it's the easiest level of child to scare. And there it goes. Okay. And what... It, now, um, there's steam coming... Oh, I... <laughs> oh, boy, that was embarrassing. Okay. So, um, oh, there's fire coming out of this. So do I need to do this three times? Is that what, is that what I'm seeing here? Um, like, there's a mailbox here, but I'm not even bothering... Um, so now it's green, then orange, then red, and then green again. Okay, so yeah, we're just playing this weird game of Simon, um, where we, uh, <laughs> activate to release a robotic child. And this one's yellow, we can, we can get yellows, uh, if I can catch it. Um, hopefully it'll hop back. Oh no, it's, okay, yeah, hop on back here. Um, I'm just mashing circle until it lands. Um, now I'm mashing circle again because that's what this game wants me to do. And it's just staying circle the whole time. Wow. Okay. Now my scary bag uh, Vic, um, scare there. And that'll activate the second one. Okay, so now we just need to do this one more time. Um, gosh, I'm so hurt because of stupid shit. <laughs> but, okay. Um, just get on this panel here. Um, boom. Okay, now we want green, yellow, orange, blue, yellow. Um, oh boy. I hope I can remember that. I'm not very good at this stuff. Um, I think, I think I got it though. And then, yellow, okay. Yeah, there, there comes our red child. Oh boy, we don't have enough to scare a red child though. I'm gonna try, I just wanna see what happens uh, if we try to scare a red child. Um, see if, uh, what it, what it does. If it damages us, not, oh, it just says not enough ooze, okay. So I know that there was more, um, ah, god, I hate these platforms. Those little robots can jump these so easily. Like, I just slid right off. Oh, now I'm dead. Okay. Um, but I've got lots of tokens. Is the whole level reset now, I wonder? Um, it's hard to tell. It looks like it's not. But I don't know how to, like, keep track. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Um, no, that doesn't show. Uh, okay, the red child's still hopping around. And my meter's still pretty full. So I guess what I need to do is, um... Whoa! The kid just killed me! You stupid kid! <laughs> um... I need to try and, uh, get... Jeez, I can't make these jumps. Oh, hey! It, uh, it figured it out that I can't make these jumps and just kind of help me out here. Um, get some more of this ooze that's lying around so I can scare these red, uh, red nerves because we've, we've run into a, a few of them now. Um, and once I'm back up here, I should be able to go to that other ledge where we saw some more ooze and get the rest of it and get... My meter full, basically, is what I'm trying to do. Uh, these stupid, like, snake things. Um, I have no idea what I was holding on to there. Man, this ball here is so sad. It's just left here from this robot that I destroyed. Um, let's see if I can get the coin that- No, I just slid right through it. I- And I missed the little platform I was going for, too. Like, ah. Uh, it's so, so disappointing. Oh my gosh. Now I- Ugh. Now I don't even care if I get the- re Oh well, let me, um, uh, try again. Um, I really, really don't like doing this. Uh, oh, what? I thought that water was safe. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm on the verge of death again because I can't make these stupid platform jumps. I don't think it's just me either. Um, like, I'm, I know that I'm bad at platforming and I've mentioned it in almost every episode where any kind of platforming has taken place. Come on, get the, the freaking coin. I can't get it. Ugh. Oh well, whatever. Um, while we're over here, um, let's see if we can 
get some other stuff because I know that there was some other like platforms right like yeah over this way um no 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 okay uh, I want to get the rest of this ooze here and get this coin um, still don't have enough to get the uh, to get the red the red nerves but um, I know well let's see there's another there's a red bottle over here I just saw uh, okay so yeah that all right that's enough let me um let me see if we can do this here uh, go ahead and raise the cage um <laughs> And then, uh, let's see if we can run on over here and scare it real quick. Okay, so now I just need to, to scare this child before, um... Uh, be well, I guess now that the animation started, I probably don't have to worry about the cage lowering, but, uh... I just need to, to scare it, though. <laughs> and I've got enough to do it. And then I can go back out and scare that one over there, um, if I can get there without dying. Okay, now I've got my bronze medal. That's great. And that opens... Okay, so that opens up the door, so now I have the option to leave. Um... I don't know, I guess I, I will, uh, just because I don't think I want to invest the, uh, invest the time really into getting everything on this level. If I was playing the game proper, then sure, but, uh, right now I'm, I'm not really, like, I don't, I don't think there's a whole lot in it for me to go ahead and get the gold on this. Um, if I was doing, like, a let's play the game, which probably would never happen, because, I play some pretty shitty games, but I don't think this is one I would ever uh, want to do. But if I was doing like a, a let's play the full game, then I would want to get everything, of course. But uh, right now, um, I am I am curious about this though. They're all three lit, and nothing's happening. Let's see if um, can okay. The button looks like it's pressed, uh, and then that's the yeah. What what do these do? Um, uh, okay, they hurt me when I touch them. That's weird. Um, whatever. Uh, I guess I'll just... I didn't actually see where the door was when... Okay, there it is. Yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here. Um, I've, I'm have i I'm pretty satisfied with everything we saw here. Uh, we should be able to exit the game here soon. I don't think... Um, I don't think I'm really interested in what else <laughs> the demo has. If, if there is another level, it's going to be a lot like that. But we can see this... Lots of levels here, and they look like there is some variance. Like, that was an island, or, uh, sorry, a desert oasis. But there's also, like, a pyramid and a tomb and a sphinx. We saw there was some winter-themed levels. Um, probably uh, some other rooms like that. But uh, I think um, we have a pretty good assessment of this game. And you know what? I think my original, just what I remembered from it, is pretty accurate, and that is... Uh, I remember the scare animations, and that's all I remember from this, and that's probably all I'm going to remember a few years from now when I think back to doing this episode. But uh, as for now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and exit game, and we'll move on to our next game on the disc. So this is Sheep Raider, which I said earlier I thought was a Wily e. Coyote game. But uh, looking at the, the uh, thumbnail again and looking at the logo here, it's actually a Ralph Wolf game, uh, which is a pretty minor distinction, but uh, a distinction nonetheless. Ralph Wolf is a character that um, looks exactly like Wile E. Coyote, except for like a couple couple of very minor coloring differences. Like I think, yeah, the the nose is a different color. He's got a red nose instead of a black nose, and he hunts sheep instead of uh, roadrunners. And his enemy is a Sam Sheepdog, who I actually think is more people remember than Ralph Wolf himself. But all right, we've got uh, some instructions here. It says hello and welcome to this demo of Sheep Raider. Introducing the first ever steal em up, or as I like to call it, who wants to be a sheep stealer? In the final version, you will go through a series of levels, and each of these levels you will need to creep, sneak, and use the cunning tactics, uh, and use cunning tactics in a relentless quest to steal a sheep from Sam Sheepdog and put it in the goal. Uh, if you succeed, you may proceed to the next challenge and so on until you finally steal the entire flock. Okay, uh, to help you steal, uh, sheep, it looks like he says shelp, but to help you steal sheep from Sam Sheepdog, you will be given several objects. First, press the start button, which will show you the level's map. And the objects available to you to get an object, you have to order it by opening a letterbox. Uh, so again, like Wally Coyote, he um, had a tendency to buy things from Acme. Uh, if you want to know in, uh, in which letterbox you have to order specific objects, select it in your inventory, and a red circle will appear around the letterbox, which means it's yours. The objects drawn uh, in... Uh, drawn and right are the ones you can... I have a really hard time reading this font. 
you can find in the level the uh, colored objects to those you already collected and can use, and in that's not enough. You can also look at the objects um, a user guide for instructions on how to use it. Oh, uh, objects drawn in white. So like if an object is outlined instead of uh, being a full colored picture. Uh, okay, this is just explaining like a warning system looks like a uh, green, orange, and red um, to to kind of see if Sam sh sees you. Uh, press to press. It's best bet is to press the stealth button. If you don't, Sam will hear. And uh, it, okay, yeah, all right. Um, and there's our controls. Looks like stealth um, is R one, uh, which is probably the only thing we'll really need to know. Everything else looks pretty straightforward. Our objectives are to go and talk to Daffy, and it, it is cool that Daffy's in this. Uh, to learn how to sneak and hide in a bush, cross Sam's area, steal a sheep with the collected items, and then use your brain uh, to bring him in the goal. Use my brain. Okay. Um, don't know how successful this will be. I'm not very good with uh, stealth games. Uh, those of you who watched the last episode uh, are aware of that much. But, um, oh, wow. Um, right off the bat, noticing that this world is very, like, like oh, my gosh. It's it's not held together very well. Look at the, I don't know what this is. I've never, I've never seen this. Like, look at Ralph. The way he's jumping around. Um, I mentioned earlier that I was concerned the disc might be scratched because a video was, like, acting a little bit weird. But then the rest of the game played fine. Uh, and I, I don't even know if that would be the cause of this. So, anyway, uh, I'll try to ignore that. Um, I need to, it's hard to get centered on this. Okay, uh, push this boulder so I can get out. And then, um, let's see, let's pick up this, uh, whatever this is. I can't really tell. Gosh, uh. It's so distracting. Okay, anyway, found Daffy. He's, um, even he's acting weird. Uh, want to learn something new? Well, here's something. Or, I guess I'll just let him talk a little bit here. Hide inside a bush. It's easy. Uh, okay. Um, I get the idea. Alright, so, um, do I want to practice? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um. Okay, listen up. I'll stand watch while you use this bush to try and cross the line without me seeing you. Good luck, bub! Okay. Um, alright, so that's that's good to know. Let me, um, hop in here. Uh, let's see. It was R1 to sneak, right? Yeah. Um, oh, that's terrific. It even plays the, um, it even plays the piano music okay. when I, when I sneak. Start that's, that's really great. I love that. It's, um, really spot on. Um, okay, and we see a little indicator of Daffy looking around up here, so, um, I'll try not to, uh, let him notice me moving. I'll just try to be still whenever he's, like, looking my way, uh, which is pretty much when he's looking, like, this way, right? Um, okay, and then when he looks back down, I can see. Okay, so I think, um, let me just make it right across here. Uh, okay. And, oh, he spotted me. Really? If you wanna um, keep the stealth oh, pressed. I thought I had crossed the line, so I let go, but, uh, oh, um, Are you anyway, I, uh, I don't think I want to keep doing this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, go out this way? Looks like, yeah, okay, there's a sheep, um, and there's Sam, okay, um, there's a little thing indicating there, let me see what this has to say, um, well, I thought I could read that, but, uh, I guess not, oh, well, let's just... Um, let's just try sneaking past him. He looks, his face moves a lot faster than Daffy's does. Man, look at these sheep. I, I really don't want to keep harping on this, but really, look at those sheep. Look at the way they're just going all over the place. Oh my gosh, they're the, they're the craziest thing we've come across here. Um, I'm just kind of moving a little bit at a time here, trying not to get spotted. It's a little, uh, difficult, um... But I think we're actually doing pretty good here. I'm just trying to get across here. I don't know um, how I'm going to grab a sheep. I think we probably need to get more items, I would imagine. Um, like, all we have right now is that little, uh, whatever it was. I'm not even sure what that was we picked up. I need to, well, here, once we get across this border, I think we'll be okay. I just need to uh, look and see what, um, okay, now, now it's green. Okay, he's not even looking anymore. So let me get out of this weirdly behaving bush and then see danger no swimming piranha infested water so yeah basically we can't jump into water pretty standard for video games uh sheep are not very smart but they are curious if you put a sheep close to a button he won't be able to resist pushing on it 
Okay, so that's good to know. I can use sheep to activate buttons for uh, whatever I might need to. Um, and sink over here seems to have uh, opened up a whole new like set of things we can do here. Lettuce. Sheep love lettuce. If you put any lettuce next to a sheep, he'll eat it. When the sheep notices the lettuce, an icon appears on the left lower screen. Okay. Um, I'm still kind of observing our options here. Okay, here's something else we can order. Uh, and it gets dropped way over there. Okay, but I think we can make it there. Um, probably. Uh, let's see. Oh, crap. I keep forgetting that jump is square, not X. Um, so it's really... Uh, um, I said earlier that it had pretty standard controls, but it actually kind of doesn't. That's that's a weird one. Um, I don't think I can double jump that high. Okay, let me jump back here. So, um, at the very least, the jump controls here I like a lot better than in Monsters, Inc. Like, this is way more intuitive. And other than the obvious uh, problem, I think this game looks really good. Um, if I'm assuming this is not something that exists in the final version of the game, and hopefully not even in the other demos. Hopefully this is something just wrong with, like, um, with my copy or with the demo or something. I can't, I can't imagine um, anybody shipping a game that's like doing this. Like it's so, so hard to. It's so distracting. Oh no, the piranhas, piranhas caught me. No, oh man. Um, okay, well, I haven't noticed any kind of life thing. You know? Like I didn't see a counter go down or anything. So anyway. Um, the, at least dying will give us a second chance of getting to that um, that item over there. Uh, yeah, there we go. Take it. Okay, so hold on. Let's um, look here. Okay, so that's a fan that we picked up before. And then uh, that's a lady sheep. Um, it looks like a bottle, so maybe it's like perfume or something. I don't know. It's just called lady sheep. That's weird. Um, and then, uh, wait, validate. What does validate mean? Um... I don't know what this is. Um, help use combined exit. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Why does it say validate? So I guess once I have it, I can... Okay, help will probably tell me what the item does. Use to use it. I guess you can combine items, which is pretty cool. And then um, and then an exit. Let's go ahead and see help for the fan. The fan moves air around. Well, okay. The fan spreads smells around. The fan can propel a small boat. Okay. So those are the uses of the fan. And then uh, lady sheep, uh, perfume for female sheep that no male sheep can resist. Okay, so automatically there's a pretty obvious way to use these together. Um, so let's go ahead and try combining uh, these two things. Um, and did it do anything? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. I'm, I don't really understand. But I uh, probably will want to do that a different way. Um, it looks like the other item there was actually lettuce, in which we saw growing earlier, so we probably don't actually need to order it. If you dislodge the big rock, jump on the other side of the seesaw from this height to put it back in place. Um, so I guess, yeah, I could... Um, I don't know why I would want to do this, but let's just do it just to see what happens. Um, here. And then um, then I can jump on this side, it said, to put it back in place. Uh, that, that doesn't seem like it's going to work to me, guys. Um... I guess, uh, well, I guess I could probably push it, um, maybe, or maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not worried about that right now. Let's, um, let's see, where was that lettuce? I want to get the lettuce, yeah, okay, take lettuce, um, go ahead and take all of it, sure, I don't see any reason not to, um, that should give us lots of bait, uh, and then, um, boy, what happened to my bush? I don't even see it anymore, uh, oh well. Um, I'm trying to see what, uh, we don't have a cling option here, but anyway, let me see if I can lure somebody, um, let's see, uh, can I use this, um, put, okay, and then, um, I'll put, whoa, no, 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 I, uh, I accidentally pressed circle, which I guess was run. I did not mean to. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, well, I'm back here. Do I still have my items? No, I pressed. I did it again. What is wrong with me? Why do I keep pressing? I guess it's. I'm still thinking Monsters Inc. I don't know, and I'm trying to scare the sheep. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's embarrassing. Hold on. Um, what I meant was start. Uh, okay, I do still have this. Um, so let me get like right up here. 
And let me place uh, this, just put, and then um, let me try uh, the fan, use, um, and then I can activate it. How far does this reach? Can I actually pull in like a... It looks like it goes pretty far, but none of them are really coming over this way. Okay. Um, so now what? Now do I... Um, how do I stop using the fan? Um, I don't know. How do I grab the sheep? I, I don't actually know. Um, like, uh, the fan... While I'm holding the fan, that's all I can use it for. Uh, like, it's not doing anything else. Hold on, um... Let me see. Exit. Does that put it away? How do I put the... How do I put it away? Um... Oh, wait, okay. Uh, like, L1 did it. Okay. So, can I just grab this sheep now? Yeah, I can. Okay. And Sam doesn't give a shit because I'm past the fence. Alright, um... Let me just, uh... Okay, so that's good to know. Let me, um, let me pick him up so I can, uh, get on the platform and set him down. That should allow me to get up higher. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> let's put it that way. I don't, uh, I don't really have any idea, but if I put him there, I, okay, and he's, he gets on the button. So this will take me all the way up here, um, which, uh, I think I could have gotten to anyway, but, um, Boy, I really don't know what I'm trying to do, though. Um, I guess, uh, hold on, let me try something else here. Um, because, uh, if I put the sheep on here, can I, um, I'm, like, uh, trying to get him up there, because I can get up there pretty easily, is the thing. Um, probably what I need is two sheep, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, okay. So, um, you stay there. I'm going to use my fan again to lure another sheep over here. Um, boy, th it's, there's, I'm, oh wait, oh, hold on, let me try, um, is there, okay, there is a quicker way to grab that than going to the start menu, so that's good. Um, I figured there had to be, because that's really, um, unnecessary. So, let's see if I can, like, I can kind of control which direction this goes um, by using the d-pad and you can see down there in the corner when I get it like right on a sheep it like uh, brings up a little picture of the sheep so uh, I think um, this is gonna be the best way to lure sheep over here I'm just gonna stick with this though none of them seem to be coming right now I don't I guess I don't have it quite centered right um, trying to get it but it's a little bit weird. Boy, those sheep are freaking me out, though, the way they're, <laughs> like, glitching around. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I cannot ignore it. It's so, uh, distracting, the way, the way they, the whole game looks like this. Um, like, it looks like it's gonna crash any second, and it's not even, um, like, if this was a computer game, I would be turning it off, because I'd be afraid it was gonna crash and damage my system or something, I don't know. Um, but it's not, it's on the PlayStation. Uh, I think the worst, the worst thing we have to worry about is it freezing, and if that happens, if it does freeze, I'll probably just call it quits, um, but I don't think we have to worry about that. Um, uh, as soon as I say that, though, now I'm thinking it probably will freeze, but let me, I can't seem to get a lock on any of these sheep. Um, the way the smoke moves is a little weird. Um, Jeez, come on, just one of you just come over here. <laughs> it's, um, it's not working for me. Uh, and I can't sneak back over there either with, um, well, with my bush disappearing. But, uh, uh, hold on, let me try getting, like, positioned a little bit differently here. Um, like, it's got a... That, that little icon keeps popping up, it, almost as soon as it does, it disappears. I, um, I don't know, like, yeah, I, I'm not passing over it, because I'm just barely tapping on the D-pad. So I'm moving as little as possible in any given direction when I move, and it's still, like, passing over the sheep. Um, 
So I guess I need to move like back and forth on them. I don't know. Um, man, it really moves a lot when I move it even a little bit though. Um, and I look at them, they're like hopping up and down. They look really excited. Like, they're like, yeah, I smell a female sheep, but then they aren't, they aren't coming this way like the first one did. Um, like, come on, just come over here. You know, I'm like blowing it right at these two right here, and it looks like, it looks like I should be getting them, but it's not working. Um, dude, uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It worked so well the first time, but now this time it's like not working at all. Um, thankfully I'm on this side of the fence, so Sam doesn't seem to give a shit what I'm doing, but, uh, like, <laughs> look at me, I'm just going all over the place here trying to, uh, get these stupid sheep. And they are stupid, the game admits it. Um, like, I, I know what I want to do, or I have an idea what I want to do. I want to try and throw a sheep with that boulder. Uh, I don't know what good that'll do. Like, I have no idea where the goal is I'm trying to get them to, and I I guess I could look at the map here. Um, like, uh, yeah, there's another mailbox way over somewhere. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it does look like I, um, if I put, okay, so I see the goal. I wish I had a cursor so I could show you guys what I'm looking at, but the goal is in the top left corner of the map there. Um, and looking down south of there, it does look like the boulder is directly south, so I'm guessing if I can get a sheep, uh, onto that platform, and then use the boulder to throw them, that'll, uh, send them into the goal. And I don't know how many sheep I need to get for the level, but if it's just one, that should be pretty easy. Um, you know what? Let me, um, let me try getting lettuce instead. Um... Let me see if I can use the fan on the smell of lettuce. Maybe uh, I can only use the perfume once or something. Um, yeah, there's no like scent coming from the lettuce. So uh, I'm guessing if I do use the lettuce, I'd have to set like a trail. Um, and boy, does that sound risky. Um, let me try it, I guess. I don't really have a lot to lose, I don't think. Um, Boy, he's okay. There he comes. Uh, I'm I'm safe. I'm I'm safe. Go away. Uh, grab, grab. Uh, he got me. Um, I hope I didn't lose the one sheep I had because of that. That would that would be a pretty steep penalty for me. But um, well, no, it's still over here. Okay, so it's just not where it was. But um, you know, I should still have all my items. Yeah. So let me um, let me go back to the perfume because I don't like the lettuce idea, especially when I don't have um. When I don't have a, a well, what's it, a, a bush? Um, so let me, let me try this a little bit more here. So it, it seems like it should work. And it worked so well the first time, and I see them reacting to it. Like, look at them hopping around. Like, more than usual. More than the glitching, just actually jumping in place. Um, I'm not sure... I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, uh, really. It's, the way the smoke acts is really weird. Um... Like, it's not acting like, like, obviously it's not acting like smoke, but it's not acting like anything. It's just, like, so bizarre. Um, but anyway, um, I seem to be getting their attention, but they're not, I don't know what I'm failing to do to get them to come the rest of the way over here, like, or to even start over here. Is, let me, hold on, let me go around, like, from this angle. I think there's a few, I like, that are closer this way, and maybe... I can, well, come on, like, that's not even close to being right, uh, okay, um, it's like, yeah, these ones look a little bit closer, so maybe I can get them easier, I don't, uh, I don't know, uh, like, I like the way this game is kind of set up, I don't have any major problems with it other than this, like, this jumpy, glitchy thing, but I, again, I, I really don't think that's like, something that's in the final game. I, I just can't imagine. Did that sheep just disappear? Um, it looked like it just disappeared. Um, or maybe I just lost track of it. I don't know. I, I'm a little tired. I mean, it is, it looked like that sheep just, like, completely vanished, but it's back now, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, anyway, come on. No, it did again. Okay, it's, it's not just me. It just literally just vanished. And now it's back. Okay. What is going on here? Um, 
Uh, I, I think I have to use the lettuce, but I really, really don't want to. Um, because I'm bad at sneaking, and I don't even have my bush. Um, I don't have a bush, you guys. I need a bush. Um, okay. Lettuce. Um, demo timeout. Oh, okay. So the demo's gonna run out in a minute, so I'm not gonna complete it. There's just no way. I wasted too much time here. Um, he's coming over here again. Come on. I didn't do anything. Go away. Oh boy. Alright. So we've got like 40 seconds here to waste. Um, I'm just going. I'm just going to take this sheep. <laughs> take it. Come on. I'm just gonna do this. There we go. Okay. Um, that didn't turn out well. But uh, I wonder if I can just like... Whoa. Okay. Now. Alright. So... With 22 seconds left on the clock, the game actually did freeze. Um, but that's... Alright, that's enough of that, though. We'll, um... I'll restart the system and we'll meet up at the next game here. So this is Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. Not the first time we've, uh, visited the... The, uh, Mystery Inc. Uh, though it looks like this game has some kind of, uh, pie-throwing dynamic. Uh, I guess we'll, uh, we'll see what that's about here. And, you know, I remember when this, uh, this movie came out. It was, um, it was like the third or fourth in this string of, uh, of animated Scooby-Doo films they were doing, and I'm kind of a cartoon nerd, so I watched all of them. Uh, uh, okay. So, yeah, we are, um, we are in a jungle full of dinosaurs, apparently. Let's see, I said earlier I had, like, a, some kind of smash attack here. Can I, does that work on this? Um, it does he doesn't do it. Uh, he did it, like, once, and he's not doing it now. Um, there we go, okay. That was... Uh, okay, so I don't like the way this game controls right off the bat. Um, that was pretty, uh... Uh, pretty difficult. What did I get out of it? I didn't even notice. Was it, um... Come on, there's another one here. I, I broke that one. Okay. It's, um... Oh, it's a pie. Okay. Uh, which is, like, my weapon here. Uh, some kind of pie projectile. You know what? I'm just gonna... Yeah, just run past it. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so Fred's telling me I can't jump in the water. I kind of guessed this- Whoa! Um, okay, Scooby-Doo does not jump nearly as far as I thought he would. Uh, I guess I should have- Should I have double jumped there? That looked like a single jump to me. Um, I'm not sure what happened. Oh, uh, no, okay, it is a single jump. Okay, and then there's, um, some kind of alligator here. A Loch Ness monster. Um... Me. Oh crap, I double jumped and overshot. Oh, this is not going well at all. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, the, um, the premise of this movie was that the Mystery Inc. gang all got, uh, trapped inside of a, um, a video game with this, like, cybernetic ghost. Why do I keep doing that? Um, so that's why they're in, like, this unrealistic environment here. This is, like, a, vir a virtual reality thing um, with the dinosaurs and everything. And I'm guessing this game has a wide variety of levels taking advantage of that. At least if I was making a game like this, that's what I would do. Um, why is... It's like there's an invisible wall there, and I just cannot jump to that platform. It's so bizarre. Um, I've only got one life left. Uh, but anyway... Um, that being said, though, I'm actually not really a fan of the level design here. Uh, like this, look at this water. It's so, um, lackluster. Uh, whoa! The, uh, Nessie swung its head and freaked me out there. I thought it was gonna hit me. <laughs> uh, well, I can probably try this again if I die, because I haven't really seen much of this level at all. Because the jumping dynamics here suck! Um, like, this is way worse than what I was, uh, giving Monsters, Inc. crap for. Um, yes, I would like to continue. Let me try again. Um, like, Monsters, Inc., I felt like I wasn't jumping where I was trying to, and I didn't feel like it was my fault. Like, I can usually tell when it's my fault, especially when it comes to platforming, because, like, I've played lots of platformers. That's, like, um, that's just something I grew up playing, and I, I've never been good at it, but I've always, like, understood <laughs> when it was my fault and when it's not and in Monsters Inc. and this one both times I feel like my own natural clumsiness with this type of thing I'm not answering that 
is um, being amplified by kind of shoddy controls and well not even just controls but like physics like these um these things I'm jumping on I don't feel like yeah I feel like it's weird the way it it detects where I'm landing and I I feel like it's really throwing me off that I can't just jump onto a simple thing like uh, you would think I'd be able to right like it's it's the main dynamic of the game but uh, uh okay so yeah Loch Ness monster can hit me and just knock me into the water this game's really hard for like no reason at all like this this shouldn't be this hard it's like um actually you know what it's like it's kind of like uh, Barbie Explorer hard like it's hard in the same way that game was hard where it's just hard because I don't feel like I actually have the, all that much control over the character um, and that's that's what it's reminding me of like uh, I, I, I feel bad always comparing games to that game but it's if you saw me play that in a previous episode of Demo Reel, that's kind of what it's reminding me of where it's just way too hard for a kids game and it's it's only hard because of the controls not because of like any kind of programmed in difficulty it's just the controls and the way it determines where you land I'm waiting for this thing to finish opening its mouth here like the way I like turn around before I jump sometimes I'm not pushing I'm not pushing down or if I am it's not on purpose why didn't I land on that I can't for the life of me think of why I couldn't land on that alligator just now it's um, like there's no consistency with where I can and can't jump yeah I know Fred um, I got tired of the thing ringing at me um, I keep almost overshooting this island but when I don't over almost overshoot it, I almost undershoot it. Um, and that shouldn't be something that happens. And I can, okay, I can jump to that without uh, landing on the alligator, so that's good to know. But sometimes I would try it and couldn't make it. And it's it's not just me, like part of it's probably me. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm willing to admit that um, I'm far from great at these games. But, uh, like, why did I not land on that? I, like, ugh. It's, it's just frustrating, um, is the problem. And I don't think, uh, if I was, like, a kid playing this game like I rented it, I don't think I would play it as long as I have now. Like, I've only been playing it for maybe ten minutes here. And if I was a kid who had rented this, or, because I, I doubt I would have bought it, but, uh, um, I would not stick with it as long as I have here. I'm only sticking with it here just because I really want to get to the end of this level, at least get to that little Scooby-Doo logo. Uh, that I saw at the end of this and I feel like I should be able to show you guys what happens if you get to the end of that but it's just so hard to land where I want to land on these freaking dinosaurs here I'm gonna wait for the monster to swing its head to give me as much time as possible um, at least I'm assuming it does that like I know it swings its head but maybe it won't do it until I've landed on it um, and if that's the case then boy I don't know what to do um, ah! Why? No, no, I don't want to continue. That, oh, that was just not fun at all. I can't, I cannot recommend this one. So, hopefully this one will at least be kind of fun. This is, um, Twisted Metal's Small Brawl. And we visited the Twisted Metal franchise in the past on this channel. And, you know, uh, I'm not a huge fan uh, of the aesthetic or, or even the gameplay, but... It can be fun, it's just kind of like something stupid to play, especially with your friends, but just, uh, you know, not, not anything you take seriously, but it's, it, it can, it can certainly have its fun. So let's see what this, uh, cutscene has for us here. If you ever want to see your sissy widow froggy again, you gotta play my game! What is that kid's problem? This means war. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so yeah, now you can kind of see the uh, the gimmick of this game here. It's twisted metal, but with toys. Uh, I'm not sure why. Um, I've talked endlessly in past episodes about how I don't understand building uh, car games around uh, using toy cars. I don't understand. 
Uh, we do have a two player option, but I'm by myself, so we'll do the one player. Um, and it looks like we've only got two options here. I'll pick the Thumper. Uh, I like purple. <laughs> the, this is the demonstration version of the, the game. We are at Playground Peril. Uh, and if you don't know, Twisted Metal is a game where you play a car and you destroy other cars. And I have no idea why they felt the need to make like a miniature version of this. Um, it just, uh, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand why, um, like what this new di dynamic really brings to the table, other than giving us annoying child characters to use in the cutscenes. Uh, I don't, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, but like the gameplay seems to be pretty much identical. It's just instead of being some kind of big open battlefield, we're in uh, like a, a little playground here. And um, did I see like a little person? What is? Um, I can't tell what this is. Um, I don't know. I hit it and it went flying. It, like I just nudged it and it looked like it went flying like way off there. But um, I haven't figured out how to do like my machine gun yet. Uh, I just haven't. Um, I don't seem to have a machine gun or, or like any kind of like rapid fire weapon. I just have these missile missiles, um, which I guess are cool, but they don't seem to be doing a whole lot. I'm not hitting him very much. Um, whoa! Oh, he caught. He grabbed me. Um, the animation to that was really weird. But uh, man, I, I'm really durable though. <laughs> uh, got a health pickup. That's gonna be useful, I'm sure. Um, and it's really just the two of us. You know, usually when I play Twisted Metal, it's like, um... I was shooting like guns there. Oh, okay, it's uh, R2. Um, anyway, usually when I play Twisted Metal, it's like a bunch of cars, you know? It's not just two, it's like four or five cars. Um, the one we played before, which I think was a PS2 game. I'm not sure. But, uh, anyway, the whichever one it was we played before, uh, had several cars um, that were all on the field at the same time. But this is just the two of us, and, um, the fact that it, like, offered a, um, a head, like, two-player was the other option, and it didn't, I didn't see anything to imply that there is a version of this game where you can play more than one car on the map, at, or more than two cars on the map at a time, which seems like a real limitation. I don't know why they would have that. I don't know if that was because of the system, uh, like, just the version we played before had, um, more, uh, more cars on it because it was a PS2 game, and I don't, I don't remember for sure if that was even a PS2 game, but if that's the case, I guess that makes sense. Um, but, you know, I'm still baffled by the decision to make this a uh, toy car. It's like, it, it, it's just a gimmick, but it's a gimmick that doesn't actually change anything other than the aesthetic. It just makes it a little bit less death metal, or not a little bit, it makes it a lot less death metal, and I guess maybe that's the idea, just to make like a kid-friendly version of Twisted Metal so they could sell more copies. That's the only thing I can imagine. Um, still, I think you could do that without making them toys. You could just make them more cartoony. But uh, anyway, I won. Um, and okay, and that's the demo. All right, so I'll quit out now and we'll go on to our, our final game, which is uh, E.T. So this is E.T. Interplanetary Mission, and I'm not sure exactly uh, when this just came out, but I'm pretty sure it was at least 20 years or close to it after the movie came out. So for those of you who don't know, E.T. was this little early film uh, by a director called Steven Spielberg and uh, you may not have heard of it but it was it was kind of popular in the early 80s. Um, it, it was about an alien who uh, landed on a planet, met a kid named Elliot uh, and they uh, they flew a bike over the moon or something. I don't know. I, I don't think um, I don't think it's really stuck in the public consciousness the way uh Perhaps the, the producers would have liked. But uh, we get a game of it here. A um, lot of great E.T. games in the past. And, uh, oh boy. Uh, so we get, just get dropped in here um, right off the bat. And, you know, I don't like when... Uh, I hate when games do this, actually. I just... Um, what is... What is this? Was that... I don't know. I ate it. Uh, uh, so we're on a alien planet here. Oh, um, Square, like, picks it up. I guess um, we're on some kind of alien planet, uh, so it's not set within the continuity of our. It's not set like during the movie. Uh, okay, so th that was like a a button I had to press something on. I would have never guessed 
um, if there just wasn't anything else to interact with. But now I know. Um, it's like a wizard over here. The only thing about this that's E.T. at all is E.T. himself. Like, um, what, is, what does any of this have to do with, like, E.T.? It's... E.T. wasn't, like, some kind of weird alien movie. It really wasn't. It was about, like, like childhood and, um, uh, because, like, finding out who you are and protecting something uh, important to you and not fighting wizards on a mushroom planet. Like, what the hell is even going on here? Um, ugh. And you know what? This game doesn't control well either. <laughs> We've got a lot of that this time. Um, I can't get E.T. to go where I want him to, and navigating a maze like this is going to be hell. And I can't fight the wizards. Like, I can't do anything to them. So this murdering me. Like, what the hell? I, my, like, my whatever doesn't do anything to them. What am I supposed to do to them? Um, like, I have this telekinesis thing. Can I use that? Um... It doesn't seem to actually do anything, though. I don't understand. I, I really don't understand. I have, like, um, this, which destroyed whatever that thing was that had the purple thing in it. But it doesn't seem to affect the wizards any. Like, um, it just it slows them down, but it doesn't actually, like, defeat them or kill them or whatever. And to my knowledge, I can't kill them. Which makes me wonder what I'm supposed to do when there's two of them... And they just gang up on me, like, huh, I can't do anything. Um, I'm completely helpless to these wizards. Hold on, let's try that again, if we can. There's gotta be, there has to be a way to play this game, right? Like, even Sheep Raider was playable, with all the weird shit going on there. At least that game was playable, and I could get a sense for what I was supposed to be doing. What the hell even is this? Like... Ah, I really wish there had been just one game on this that I, like, really liked, um, but there's not. Like, I think I might would have liked Sheep Raider if I'd been playing, like, the final version, or, like, a version that wasn't, um, like it was, um, but this, uh, this is, I think this might be the worst one, <laughs> um, like, I don't know, I don't have to jump on anything. As far as I can tell, I can't jump on anything. Um, hold on, Let, can I, like, grab, um, uh, I thought maybe, I had this brilliant idea, maybe I could, like, steal that purple thing and use it to open this gate over here, so I don't have to go fight the wizard. Um, why the hell is there a wizard, and why am I, like, waddle around here? I can't, um, somehow I'm avoiding them now. Or, well, I was, but, um, I'm not even sure where I'm going. Like, I don't have a plan here or anything. Uh, I don't know where I'm trying to go. I don't know what, why I'm picking up mushrooms. Um, like, I've got 99 mushrooms. Why do I, why do I even need to bother? I'm maxed out on mushrooms. Like, I'm starting out maxed on mushrooms. What the hell is that about? Uh... God, these m wizards! I hate wizards! E.T. hates wizards! <laughs> the Who would have thought wizards are like the arch enemy of E.T.? Um, it's dropping me back over here. It's acting like I, I should be able to open this, but I don't have anything to put on the, uh, the thing here. And there's no other, like, little thing to shoot with my whatever um and this doesn't even work half the time like sometimes i push it and it works sometimes i push it and nothing happens um that's weird i don't see any like meter to tell me how to do it um or when i can do it um this seems to be completely useless i have not figured out a use for this at all um it's like very limited range and when i put it on something it doesn't seem to actually affect them why does this wizard just keep attacking like look at him you know, whatever. I'm running this way. Uh, the other way didn't give me anything. Um, but this wizard's still gonna freaking kill me, though, because I can't fight them. I'm, I am can't do anything. And he just pushes me into a corner and blasts me to oblivion. There's nothing I can do about it. Like, I, I'm completely helpless in this game. Uh, even more so than in Scooby-Doo. Like, I, and I thought 
like Scooby Doo was needlessly hard, but like this is hard, and it's the same thing. Like where it's it's hard not because the game is like a challenging game or a worthwhile investment of my time in any way. It's hard because the game controls like I'm playing it through a potato. Um, God, this is awful. Uh, I and I hate being really negative on games. I know sometimes I'm really unfair to them, but uh, like this like every game on this disc you know and it's sad because like this was shortly before the ps2 came out like there's ps2 video previews on here um can i like grab this with my telekinesis okay so this is what the telekinesis is for and then i guess i can um kill it like that and then maybe use the maze here to try and get back without running into a freaking wizard ugh these wizards are- I hate wizards, I hate wizards, I hate wizards! No, 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 get away, I hate you! Ugh. I'm dead. I'm dead. Um. So like I was saying though, this is the- the swan song of the PlayStation console, and this is the best it has to offer? It's really kind of depressing, but that's- uh that's the whole di disc. I don't have anything else for you guys here. Um. Really wish- we could have seen a bit more, but uh, yeah, that's um, that's all I got for you. I hope you uh, at least enjoyed watching me play these. Um, next time I'll try and find something with at least one game on it that I can have fun playing. Uh, until then, though, um, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.